After an incredible inaugural season, the Franklin Premier Pickleball League is back. Six teams of the finest players in Europe are bringing pickleball across the UK as the fastest growing sport in the world continues to make waves. The league is made up of five events before a knockout style finale next year and each team will face each other twice adding two points for every fixture win to the league table. A fixture is made up of six matches across six disciplines, men's singles and doubles, women's singles and doubles, and two mixed doubles matches. A match is best of three games, and 15 points win you the game. To win the fixture, the teams simply need to win the most of the six matches in that fixture. Event 1 sees the league head to Bolton for the first time, and first up on centre court is Team Pickleball United, who are taking on Team Sketches. Getting the action underway is the men, with Ben Corston representing Pickleball United and James Mathy for Team Sketches. In commentary is Rob Williams, and Ron Ponder is your referee. And it's a little bit nervy here in the start of it, a little bit here and there. Needs to get a little bit stronger. There we go. Great hustle there from James to stay alive in that point. Certainly you're playing with the depth of the court as well as the width. That's such a good volley there from James. Excellent movement to cut it off and take the angle. Really good play there. Really a dynamic from him. So this is really tricky because obviously on the scoring floor we have here, you do not have to win on serve. That's an amazing drop game from Ben to win the game. Really nice location. Singles or doubles, a kind of third shot drop to that location is going to be challenging for any player. James needs to just where we can try to get those return serving. That's more like it, James. Great return. That's such great construction of the point that James got that return right near the baseline. Serves up match point. Lovely misdirection there for Ben to finish and win the match 2-0. James did a really good job of playing on that, really working hard. Just difficult when obviously you make the odd error here or there when you're going for it. It's very fine margins when you're playing singles. We should be back next with a ladies doubles. Yeah. Good play there from Thaddeus. She set that point up by just reaching in front of Mercedes, getting that first roll volley in to put pressure under the United team. All day yesterday, there was a lot of those second roll volleys going in. What a great rally. Such a shame to see it ended by a net cord. Amazing resetting there from Rochelle. Really good play all round from all four ladies. Oh. Great smash there from Anna. And got a little bit of help from the net, leaving Thaddy with no option to get behind that ball. Such a good lob, such a good lob there from Michelle Penrose. Right just inside the baseline from my comedy position here, I can see how close that was. Absolutely pinpoint shot there from Michelle. Great finish there from Thaddea. Yeah, great play there from Anna and Rochelle. 
just taking the attack. 49 match point. Great point there, great rally. A couple of speed up there from Mercedes trying to finish it off, but absolute rocks from the commentary position side here of Rochelle and Anna, really saying that not letting them take it easy. Yeah, and Thalia able to get that roll on that last ball, and off we go. 2-0 to Team Sketches. Now 1-1 one, one in the fixture. Nice smiles and hugs all around there from the ladies. Really good play. So now, we're going to switch to the first mixed doubles pairing of the day. Anna Linton and Ben Corsten versus Anna Kinoan and Mercedes Baxter Chinnery. What a great finish there from Ben Corsten. That ball was not particularly high that Mercedes put in there, but Ben just sitting big, ready to take that ball. Such a good drive there to finish it with a little bit of net call. So it'll be interesting to see what Captain Teddy Locke's got to say to her team after that first game. Things certainly got a little bit away from them in the early doors. Yeah, great point there. Anakin finally getting that chance to go really big on cut across to the other side of the court and finish strong. Really good play from Anakin and Mercedes. And that is point game and match to team Pickleball United. So we're just going to have another short break before we go into our men's doubles match. What a great hands battle there. Really good hand speed there from all the players on the court. Such great hands there from Ben to react upon that. But Anakin just waiting for the error and off he goes. Any slight error here will be a problem for obviously Team Pickle United because it is game point still, even though sketches are not serving. And there we go, and that's the point. Once again, that slightly high inside out cross court dink from Ben Corsten. Going a little high and Anakin able to use his height, lean in and flick. All those backhand dinks in that first point. Maybe that's a strategic change you're going to make when he's into those battles with Anakin. And there comes the flick. Great jump in the kitchen there for the Ernie. Superb play from Anakin. Just working that point. Recognise that ball was up with enough range to get to it. And jump in the corner. So Lauren was doing a good job of using his arm and wrist position just to get really down on that by relaxing his wrist and getting that paddle face pointed down, but couldn't control it for every one of those speed ups on him. Good deep return there. That's such an excellent thing there to turn Anakin and get him round. So one game all we're to our first third game. So momentum has certainly shifted and Ben and Peter have settled into that second game. Started to find some stuff, certainly what they seem to be doing here. Oh. Whoa, what an angle there from Hardle. He needed to make sure he put that away because that ball was flying all the way back to the high street. So 7-8, really tight. That's a great serve there. Good patience there on that shot again. 
Yeah, good, Anakin. I'm really pleased to see him just staying strong on that volley. Yeah, and then Ben just waiting for that ball to be up and finishing. 12-13, really close now. That's up, and that's going to be gone. Yeah, you can hear the shout of Avid from Peter Hitchman there. And it was coming, so we're now at match point. 14-12. And that's in the net, that's really nervy and tight. So now 13-14. Second match point now for Pickleball United. Any error's going to be costly on both sides. That's up. And that's such an unlucky way to finish the game. Anakin had that equalising point on his paddle and just sent it a little bit long, not quite established. Looking a little gutted there, but what a fantastic match that was. The first one to go to three games. And now we're going to get ready for the UK debut of Molly O'Donoghue, who's a recent addition to the UK scene, recently coming back from playing out in Australia's PPA MLP matches. And now back to play singles for Team Sketches. I should be playing against the debut for this season of Molly Max. So 11 12. Up goes the lob. And that's perfect location to put that away. Another good deep serve. Net cord there. And that is the first game to Molly O'Donoghue. Really turned things around there on that first game. So, 3-1. That's a great backhand to hand volley there from Molly O'Donoghue to kick that ball in. Oh, lucky net called there. Yeah, and just drive that down the line once the angle's opened up. That's a great two-handed backhand there from Molly. We've not seen a lot of that so far in this game. Almost everything's been run around four hands. And just that change of something seems to have made a difference. So still match point to Molly O'Donoghue, 13-14. And that's gonna go along again. So yeah, so Molly Nags getting into those points now, 14 all. Too clear on this. So you'll have to end up winning on your serve. Yeah, good decision there from Molly Nags. Just sending the wide and just threatening coming into that net on that final forehand drive. And forcing Molly O'Donoghue here to send that ball long. Match game point. Into that forehand again. That's such a good backhand slice there from Molly Nags to stay alive on that point. That ball was so close to the base and you can call it either way. So now we're looking at one all. That ball, unless you can get some kind of angle. And again, we're finding that here, Molly O'Donoghue here coming in. Yeah. And obviously the risk of that is if you can't get one of those finished volleys put away, you're always gonna end up at some point leaving the wing exposed for a passing shot. With both these ladies able to hit heavy topspin on this. Great dig there from Molly Nags. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that is the shot of the day. What an incredible dig from Molly Nags. Landing that cross court, painting the sidelines in the non volley zone to set up match point. There's a little bit of opportunity to have the odd one that might go in your favour straight away. And that is away, and game, match to Molly Lags. Great game there, great performance there for Molly O'Donoghue. First appearance here on a live stream in the UK, and a first appearance on the UK scene. With four matches won, that seals the deal and adds two points to Pickleball United's lead tally at this early stage of the Premier League. Coming next, Team Fans Play take on Team Franklin.
So our first match between Team Fan Play and Team Franklin is Louis Laville uh, against Ed Hayes. Two best friends playing against each other on the pickle, which is always really nice to see. So looking at the singles deepest here, Louis is a 5.63 and Ed is a 4.806. What a backhand shot there from Ed Hayes. So certainly on paper, this should be Louis' match, but Ed is not making it easy for him at all. Yeah, and Ed just goes back behind Louis on that dink. Great shot there from Louis Liverpool to pass him down the line. Ed showed a no to himself there, knowing he didn't get enough on that ball. And that is going to Louis Laville, 15-13. Second game here. Yeah, good control there from Louis Laville, just controlling that final volley cross court. Obviously, pickle sinus is very hard on the body, really having to move quickly. Cover a lot of ground on the court. Oh, and he's got him there again. And that lands in. Ed just looking to heavens again, yep. When he's hitting it like that, there's not a lot I can do. Recognising the exits of that shot there to his friend. Oh, good hustle there from Louis on that one. But unable, once that ball's up, Ed can put it wherever he wants it to go. When you get to the 12s and 13s, you've pretty much got to play error-free pickleball whichever format this game is to stay in the game. And Louis finished it off there, taking the second game. That's the first strike there to Team Franklin. So we're now going to come up to Lady Doubles a minute. Jess Wilson and Emily Jilly playing for Team Fans Play and playing for Team Franklin family. Hermione Baxter Chinnery and Karen Crawford. Good reset in there from Team Franklin. And first strike to them. Yeah, really good defense there from Team Franklin. Just staying in that rally. And that final will get a little bit low and just not able to control it. Yeah, that's gone. Really good hustle from Emily to get anywhere near that ball. That was so well dropped by Team Franklin. But as soon as that ball's up, Karen's sitting there waiting to finish. Brings up game point. Yep, and that is game. Certainly in this first game, Jess Wilson hasn't really able to do much at all. She's pretty much been frozen out of the points. Not really able to initiate much in the way of attack. Emily Jilly's struggled to get into some of those dink battles. I think they need to look at doing something a little bit different. Maybe switching sides so that maybe Emily plays left and just plays right. Excellent rally there. Really good play from all four ladies. So sometimes when those attacks are coming in, moving the paddle upwards, and that's finding it harder to control the ball when they're being attacked. Great reset there from Karen Crawford. Yeah, good lean there from Jess Wilson. Just taking that ball early.
Oh, that's unlucky. That's a horrible way to end that rally. Excellent play for all four ladies there. The ebb and flow of that rally had people. Good pick up there. And that is game and match. Team Franklin 2-0 up. Just going to take a short pause here while we switch over to the first mixed doubles match of the day. There's an error here all there. Great dick return there from Hawaii. Oh, nothing Luke Lewis can do on that. That ball just hit and rolled with the inadequacies. Great matrix move there from Hermione to get out of the way. Just judging that length perfectly to get out of the way of Tom's. Nice attempt at the end there from Tom, but just fluffed that final smash. So first game again to Team Franklin. Good dig there from Tom. Oh, and Louis Liverpool has been taken out again, like he was <laughs> in the open. But actually, it's deja vu for Louis Laville from November last year. Lovely reset there from Hermione. And beautiful disguise and control on that cut dink. That ball is just not going to bounce. Really well played. Oh, and Louis got a body bagged again. He can't believe it. Things are swinging back in Franklin's favour again. Yeah, that's... Wrong location there for that shot. That should have been an outside foot dink back to Jess Wilson there. So we're now at game point to equalise things at 1 1. The paddle of Jess Wilson and team fans play. Yeah, really good decision making there from Louis Laville. Playing the entire width of the court and finally putting that ball away. Keeping the ball low on the bounce. Oh, and that net call cruelly stopping Lulaville from getting to that ball. And it's now one game all. Yeah, that's a really good interception there from Tom Turney. Just a fraction too near the middle. Nice speed up there. Oh, that's really well controlled there by Jess. That just paints the line there. And Tom and Jess have got switched up the other side again. So cheeky from Louis Laville there. Setting up, mirroring like he's going to hit the smash. And then just lowering his body a little bit. And softly resetting the ball cross court, giving just no chance to get on that ball. The 9 11 in this third game. Yeah, good play there from Tom Tony. Really coming forward onto that shot. Such a good initiation there from Hermione. Really sensing Tom was about to cut across and just goes behind him, forcing that ball wide. Good pick up from Louis. Yeah, excellent early there from Tom Turney. Seeing Louis out of position there and the ball just a smidge up, taking full advantage of that ball.
And that's put along by Louis Laville, putting match point on the paddle of Jess Wilson. Fourteen all. And just really needs to make that return of serve. That is an absolute gimme. You've got to get those in. Those first two phases of play in any match match situation, or penultimate match match situation, is really important. Yeah, and there we go. Once that ball is up, it's always going to be in the favour of the Franklin family. And we are now 3 0 in this second fixture today. Coming up next will be men's doubles. <laughs> Going for the ATP there. It's on doing some kind of take it in the body rather than use his paddle defence of the ATP by the looks of it. Great reset there from Richard Love. Really good, solid base. Ah, oh, unlucky there, Richard. Did so good on those first couple of balls to dig out. Disappointed he didn't get that last one over the line. And some tightness. And 14-11 to Team Franklin. And puts the return long. And that is game to Team Franklin. Great hands there from Louis Laville. Really good play there. And that's straight to 4 0. They just a question on that last call. I think the ball might have just looked like it had been volleyed, but it seems to have actually landed before the out call. Oh, oh Tom Turney with a edged Ernie. All four players looking to what the hell went on there. Uh, uh, it went on the tip by the looks of it. Obviously, Tom has paid for his entire paddle, so might as well use the end if he can't get anything else on it. Great reset from Louis Laville there. And Pep Giuliano backing him up and following up on that. Tom Turney frustrated. The paddle's on the floor. He can't believe everything he's done and still can't get over the line on that point. And I believe it's now match points to the Franklin team. Yeah, 14-7, match point. Yep, yeah. and that is Tom Tony Cuff, and that is game 15-7. Team Franklin, which makes it 4 0 so far. And after winning their morning fixture plus their centre court clash with Team Fans Play, it's a perfect start for Team Franklin, who top the table with Team Pickleball United just behind them on match wins. Will Louis Laville's squad be able to keep their spot at the top of the table when the league heads to Norwich for event two? See you then.